Show on back with part three. Let's continue reading here. So again, most Americans have absolutely no idea how serious the situation is. In Taiwan, there is a big push to formally declare independence, and the Biden administration has been gratefully angering the Chinese government by supporting the right of the Thai Taiwanese people to determine their own future. If Taiwan formally declares independence, China will invade. If China invades, the U.S. military will intervene. Okay? And no matter what you people think or what this says here, this will go nuclear, people. And it says here, if the military conflict between the U.S. and China suddenly erupted, it will probably not go nuclear initially. They don't know that. They're not in charge. The most high is, not man. Okay? But China has been fervently preparing for a scenario in which nuclear weapons will be used. See? Armageddon. Thermonuclear war. That's what World War III is all about, people. All right? In addition to the construction at the site, the Chinese are building new silos, missile silos, all right, for the ICBMs, okay? Intercontinental ballistic missiles, that's what ICBM stands for. Instead of focusing on making their military more diverse, the Chinese are actually working very hard to prepare for the next war, World War III, the Battle of Armageddon, and the dramatic shift that we have been witnessing has stunned U.S. officials, all right? All right, you see here it says they're including an expanding arsenal of ICBMs, all right, intercontinental ballistic missiles, all right. Meanwhile, the Russians continue to talk tough as well. For example, Russian President Vladimir Putin just warned that there would be astromerical response if certain boundaries were crossed by the Western powers. You see that? It's not a joke, people. This is real. This is prophecy that you are reading, all right, that I am reading out to you. This is all prophesied in the scriptures. We don't, we don't have to use too much energy to imagine what such an astronomical response would look like because the Russians just put on quite a show for us, all right? As the U.S. military focuses on social change, Russians have been rapidly developing a whole host of incredibly advanced new weapon systems. Here are just a few examples. I'm not going to read it, people. You can do that on your own, right? During the Cold War, U.S. strategic forces had a clear edge over Russians, but now the balance of power has shifted dramatically. Most Americans don't realize this, but in many areas, the Russians completely outclass us now. But at least nobody can grill hot dogs better than we do. How you like that? All right? Right there in your face. All right? Talking about mirth. Okay? People here are want to party. They're into amusement and joy and laughter. All right? So enjoy the bubble of peace and prosperity while you still can because our leaders are definitely not preparing for what is going to happen once this bubble of peace and prosperity finally ends. And I'll take you to a scripture on that, and most of you already know what it is. All right? When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes. All right? You got that? All right? So anyway, let's get back. All right? Let's get back here, all right? Matter of fact, uh, let's go to let's go here to uh, what is that? Ezekiel thirty-eight chapter, all right. And what does it say here? And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, 
All right. So the man set thy face against Gog and Magog. That's talking about Russia, also known as the Mede, uh, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesied against him. And say, thus saith the Lord, God power, behold, I am against thee, O God, chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company of bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, all right, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all right, that's talking about Iran, Persia, modern day would be Iran, that's Elam, all right, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with the shield and helmet. Okay, Gomer and all his band in the house of Togma, North Quarters and all his band and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them. You see, Russia has to, is, is a guard unto these nations, unto uh, Iran, unto Ethiopia, Libya, okay? And again, Russia has, like um, like Iran, has, uh, you know, business in Syria, okay? Because, you know, so Russia and Iran are linked. So, you know, the United States, uh, Israel goes messing, you know, with, uh, with the business of Russia and Iran. Or any of these other nations, you know, that's it. You know, Russia's going to step in because Russia's the big brother here. Just like America, Babylon the Great is the whore for her pimp Israel, well, Russia's the big brother for these other nations, All right? All right, what else? Let's go to uh, let's go to Isaiah. Let's do that. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah thirteen. All right. Let's start here. All right, around. Uh, Verse 15, and everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Anyone who is following Esau, Edom, serving him, following his ways and customs, all right? So all of you all that uh, attacked and talking about, oh, you know, the Edomites are going to be saved. Well, here's what it says for you. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them, unto who? The Edomites. All right, which are the enemies of the Lord, his adversaries, number one on the hit list, shall fall by the sword. All right, that thermonuclear fire, all right, from the ICBMs, the concentrated laser fire from the chariots. You people get it, you understand? All right, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, their wives ravished. You see that? Behold, I will stir up the meats. That is Gog and Magog. All right, that's Russia. All right, against them, all right? Aren't we just reading, <laughs> didn't just read about Russia in the article as well as China? Yes, we did, all right? Which shall not regard silver and ask for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls, all right? Talking about the missile silos, right? That carry the ICBMs, their bowls shall not... Mm shall dash their young men to pieces. That's what it's talking about. The ICBMs shall dash their young men to pieces. All right? Talking about America, Babylon the Great. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the wound, women, and their eyes shall not spare children. You see that? And Babylon, talking about America, Babylon the Great, the glory of kingdoms, right? The lady of kingdoms. Didn't we read that over there in Isaiah 47? Yes, we did. Okay? 
The beauty of the Chaldeans, you see, the beauty of who? The international banking families, all right? The beauty of the Chaldeans' excellency shall be as when the Most High, Yahweh, the God power, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You see that? Let's see what excellency says here, all right? See, their pride. You see that? Their pride, their arrogance. You see that? Their pride and their arrogance. And Babylon, America, Babylon the Great, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the international banking families, right? Their pride, their arrogancy shall be as when the Most High, Yahweh, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. See that? And it shall never be inhabited. Ancient Babylon is inhabited, people. People live there. It's modern day Iraq. So you see, it's not talking about ancient Babylon, is it? It's talking about the daughter of Babylon the daughter of the Chaldean, spiritually known as Sodom, as in Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt, as in the house of bondage for the Israelites, for the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. You understand that, people? All right, so it shall never be inhabited. Talking about America, Babylon, the great, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. So nobody's going to dwell here. It's going to be a desolation, a desert. And neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, all right? The Arabs coming into your hoods, pitching tents. Neither Moab, you know, the Chinese, all right? Shall the shepherds make their fold there. But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. You see that? It's going to be for wild beasts. The houses shall be full of doleful creatures. Owls shall dwell there. And the satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. You see that? You understand that? All right, give me a minute. All right, this is Jeremiah 49, all right? I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra, that's the capital of Edom, that's talking about America, Babylon the Great, shall become a desolation, a reproach, and a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual oases. I have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh, an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, gather ye together, gather who? The nations, all right? And come against her and rise up to the battle, all right? Let's quickly prove that. Give me a minute. This is Jeremiah 50 and 29, called together the archers. That's everyone that has ICBM capability, all right? That includes NATO, America's own allies, all right, and those that are outside of NATO, outside of the EU, like Russia, like China, like Iran. Everybody has ICBM capability. Call the archers against America, Babylon the Great, all these that bend the bow, right? Camp against the round the bow, let none thereof escape, recompense her, see, pay back. Pay her back according to her work according to all that she have done, do unto her, for she had been proud against the Lord Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. Give me a minute. Back to Jeremiah 49, 17. Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it, that's talking about America, Babylon, the great people, Israel, all of that. Everywhere where they pitch tent, all right? But particularly who? America, Babylon, the great. And it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, no man shall abide there. See that? No one's going to inhabit here. All right? Neither shall the Son of Man dwell in it. All right? Got that? People? All right? All right, I'll end this here. I'm out. I'm on to the next one. I'm going to say, Shalom.